with Madcap Flare 2019 R2, conversion of Microsoft Word content has never been easier with Flare's new drag and drop import functionality and completely redesigned import interface. Improvements include the ability to quickly drag Word documents into the Content Explorer to start the import process. Dragging and dropping includes the ability to bring in one or many Word documents at one time. Also, you'll notice a redesigned and simplified import interface, along with improved style mapping, table import options, and more. So let's take a look at how easy it is to do in Flare. I have my Flare project open here, and I also have Windows Explorer open that includes some files that I need to bring into my project. So I'll go ahead and select a couple files here and I'll drag them over into our Content Explorer. Now I can put them in any folder I want, or I can put them at the root folder, that's fine too, but I wanna drag these into this folder here. When I let go, I do have the option, do I wanna copy them in, and they'll just be Word documents here in our Content Explorer, or since we can actually import Word documents in, we have the option to import them into the project and convert them to Flare topics. So I'll choose Import, Flare is going to do a quick scan of those Word documents, and we'll see a brand new Word interface, uh, import interface. So previously, the Word import wizard had next and back buttons in the bottom right-hand side there that let you move through the various pages of the wizard. Well, now the wizard has just one required page, this general page that I'm on now, and two that are optional, including the styles in the advanced options. So if I just want to make this real quick, all I have to do is click Finish, Flare's going to break those Word documents based on my heading uh, one styles in Word. I'll click accept and all of those new, those new documents were created and dropped into that specified folder. But let's try that again and take a look at some of the other options. So I'll grab a, grab a couple more and I'll drag them into the server folder and we'll do an import. And again, Flare's going to do a quick scan of the documents. Let's take a look at those optional styles in the advanced options. So from the Styles tab, we've combined many of the pages into one here to make it easy. We have simplified the paragraph and character mapping and included the ability to start new topics based on those Flare headings right from one screen. In the Advanced Options, a few new things as well. We can tell Flare whether we want to create a new style sheet or not. If we don't, keep that unchecked. All of the styles that get created upon import will be appended to the master style sheet in our Flare project. Of course, options on how to handle inline formatting that comes in from the Word doc. A couple new options down here. How do we import tables? Well, we can tell the Flare when we bring those tables in, go ahead and create table styles in our regular Flare style sheet or we can convert and, and actually create table styles. Okay, so we have a specialized table style sheet in Flare. And so we can um, convert those tables and use those Flare table styles. We can tell Flare, well, when we bring those tables in, apply a dedicated table style sheet to all of those tables that are coming in. So if you've already created one and you're maintaining it in Flare, you can go ahead and tell those tables to use that specified table style sheet or ignore all of that. Bring them in as plain table styles in Flare, and then you can go ahead and apply your Flare, type, uh, Flare table style sheets later. A couple other options here. What's also new in this import interface is how Flare handles lists. So when we have this option enabled, those bulleted and numbered lists in your Word doc come over as Flare lists uh, and uh, bulleted lists and numbers. If we uncheck that box, if you've used any special symbols for your bullets or special numbering, by unchecking that box, Flare's going to preserve those um, lists and bullets that you have in Word, and they'll be imported into Flare. Also, some options on how we handle page breaks. So prior, when you imported uh, Word docs into Flare, Flare treated and manually inserted page breaks as new topic breaks in the document. Well, now we have some choices. We can preserve them and create new topics on page breaks if we want. We can keep them in there, preserve them, and convert them to madcap page breaks. Or we can tell Flare, ignore any of those manually inserted page breaks and pretend like they're not even there. So a few more choices on how those are handled as well. When I click Finish, we'll get a quick preview of what gets created, and all of my new topics get dropped into that specified folder. 
So a quick and easy interface, uh, improved options for getting content in. Hope you enjoy this new feature in Madcap Flare 2019 R2.